uh, a sign of courage uh, because of course you are in between um, the family emotion of not having uh, your father near to you and the public um, pressure that we want to uh, express to free uh, your father. It's wonderful. So please, I give you the mic if you want to add a word to this day. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, for inviting me. Uh, I'm really honored to be here. Uh, and it was really my pleasure to listen to you all. Even though I don't understand Arabic, Dutch or French, uh, I felt like you, uh, you were really uh, reading from your heart and I really appreciate it. And thank you for having me here and, and spending this time with you and listening to you. It was really, really nice. Uh, and, and I picked up a bit of words from Dutch, but <laughs> otherwise uh, I don't speak uh, the, the languages. Um, I was thinking to to um, to read a speech that I wrote. Um, so I'm having this on, on my phone because uh, I forgot my glasses uh, in Sweden, so it's better light if you have this. So that's why. Um, At first, I thought I was going to write a typical speech for a crowd like this. But then I thought I wanted to be true to myself and be personal. My father loved huge building, buildings. I think he would love this one. Sometimes I look back at my life and I often think, is this it? It was really disappointing to grow up and realize that the world doesn't look like you imagine as a little girl. It's like I'm having a big fight with myself, a big war. A part of me is still this four-year-old who just learned how to write and wanted to be a nice, very understanding teacher as her father. Because that's what I thought he was doing for a living when I was four. And I was really happy. And the other part of me is 22, and she's so angry. She's <coughs> mad at the world, and her patience is actually running out. Because she lost the best teachers she'd ever known, but most important, she lost her father. They took away the, her right to, to her father. They stole it. And she wants it back. So she had decided to take it back by her own hands. I know most of you haven't met my father, but if I could describe him with three words, it would be caring, poetic, charismatic, and a huge fan of cheese and a Sophia lover. Sophia is my mother. Okay, that was more than three words. <laughs> um, but I also know that many people have got to know him by his poetry, writings and plays. Sometimes I feel like they know him more than me. It's like some of them had a coffee with him yesterday, and that's fantastic. What's more impressive is what we as human beings can accomplish together, and together we are strong. So today, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, and, and please keep this in mind, to the day that when my father is free, and hopefully Eritrea as well, that we really can save the burning house, you know, Eritrea. Firefighters don't extinguish the fire first and save people later. It's supposed to be the other way around. So remember to walk into the fire, to say, to teach, and to do what you think is right. For you, your neighbor, friends, family, and the world. Because if we don't walk into the fire to save each other, fire is what will kill us. Thank you. 